All right, here we go, episode one of Catapult Kingdoms. We're going to be doing the Cunningham Troops. Quick two videos in this series, no big deal. Going to make them look a little bit better. Give them that extra flavor that they deserve. If this is your first time at the channel, hit that subscribe button. Just hit it. Hit that ding button, hit that thumbs up. Become a subscriber, become a member, watch these videos. I do a ton of them. Plus, you don't want to miss episode two. All right. Let's go. All right, first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to prep our miniature. We're going to scrape off all those nasty mold lines. If you need any supplies or paintless, make sure you check out the description below for everything you need. Once you're done scraping all those mold lines off, go ahead and take that mechanic scanner gray or whatever kind of gray spray paint that you have for plastic and spray your miniature. We're going to take some Dawnstone. I'm using the dry paint from Citadel and we're going to dry brush that onto the rocks and the stone area of our base. second dry brush we're going to be using is a little long beard gray. Now you're just going all this real lightly. You don't want to go too crazy on it. And you're just kind of picking out those rocks and the stone areas of our base. And last but not least, some Prexetti white, real light on this. And to tone it all down, we're going to use some of that contrast paint of Black Templar. If you don't have a contrast paint, just use Nolan Oil. It's the same difference. Well, not really, but it's close enough. That's all we care about. Since you're painting this on, you're going to notice it's going to be very wet and sloppy. That's fine. It's going to take a little while to dry, so we're going to end up doing the last step on this stuff here in a little bit. Alright, we're going to start up with our base tones, and we're going to hit this up with a little Kedian flesh tone. now. This is probably going to take two coats. Make sure you're thinning your paints down where I'm using a wet palette. And we're going to go over obviously the entire face and the turkey neck, as I call it, that's behind all the hair and behind the face. So just take your time. And if you get some onto the eyebrows or the mustache, it's not a big deal. We will clean that up here in a minute. For our beautiful luscious hair, we're going to use a little Jokerio orange, and we're going to nicely go over it. It's probably going to take you about two coats, same as the Cadian Flesh Tone, and we're going to do all of the hair, and then we're going to focus on that luscious, beautiful mustachio. And to take a break from painting our base colors, we're going to be uh, hitting up some long beard gray, just a really light dry brush on those rocks on our model, just to kind of lighten it up just a little bit. We're now going to use some Corax white for our shield and our robe areas. Now I had a hard time when I was doing some research on the color scheme of these miniatures because you can't really see the whole thing in the card art or in the booklet, structure booklet on the 
game box itself. But one picture I did see is they had some green checkers on there. Well, we ain't got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So we're just gonna hit that up with some basic white. Corax white is a gray white. It's gonna blend in very well and you probably only need one coat when you're going over our mechanic of standard gray. But take your time when you're going behind the shield and you're going where his hands at and everything else because it's gonna take you a little bit of time. And while you're painting that, why don't you head over to our Instagram at nerd.nights. It's got the little castle picture. And follow us over there. We're gonna, we post uh, new videos that are coming out, miniatures that I'm painting that I might not be doing videos for. Um, drop me a comment, send me a message, do whatever you gotta do. For our metal bits, we're gonna be using a little Grey Knight steel. It's kind of like a bluish gray, and I feel like it's a very appropriate silver, not gray, silver. Silver for a knight in shining armor. So we're gonna be hitting up all of our metal places, um, the shoulder pads, the sword obviously, and gauntlets that he is wearing. Obviously just be a little careful when you're getting close to the white areas because you don't want to have to keep going over it and tidying it up. We're trying to get this done as quickly as possible. For our gloves, we're gonna be using a little Baylor Brown. And again, take your time. Um, don't get a little crazy with it. Don't try and slap it on as quickly as possible. Let's just get put on in a nice, neat fashion and uh, enjoy your painting. For our belt robes, I chose to go with a little Rhinox hide to give it some brown depth in this miniature. Um, if you want to stick to a gray, you can also do a darker gray or an administratum gray. Um, it's up to you, but I felt like it. Let's just break it up just a little bit. For our hilt, and the ball on our hilt, we're going to be using a little Retributor Armor. This is a kind of a difficult color to hit it with because it's a little hidden. So take your time and uh, find those two areas that you need to hit with that and just be very, very careful. For our boots and the handle of our sword, we're gonna be using a little Mornfang Brown. Uh, just be careful when you're painting the white portion underneath the skirt. It's not a skirt, but you know what I mean. And uh, just be careful so you don't have to go back over it with some Corax White. And as we're finishing up these base colors, we're gonna be hitting the the gray areas with uh, our Mechanica standard gray. It's the same thing as our spray paint. This is basically optional. I just wanted to tidy it up a little bit because I had gotten some other paints on it. So I'm just trying to tidy it up just a little bit and make it look presentable for our couple washes that we're gonna do on selective areas here coming up real quick. And for the little string areas that are tying our, I guess you could say, tunic together, I'm gonna to use a little German gray from Model Color. If you're using Citadel paints, just put a little bit of black and some mechanic standard gray, and it's the same damn thing. I just getting fancy with it. And for our teacup, we'll be using a little Wrathbone. 
to make our cup. Tish. Who's getting into battle and drinking tea? Maybe the British? I don't know. Whatever. All right, let's wash this thing. Selectively, of course, we're not gonna hit the whole thing up. The first thing we're gonna use is Fugan Orange, and we're gonna hit that luscious, beautiful hair. I mean, it's majestic. David Hasselhoff, majestic. Obviously for our skin areas, we're gonna get a little Reiklin flush shade. If you get some into the hair, it's no big deal at all. They have like an orange tip to both of them, so it's not that big of a deal. And we're gonna let that dry while we're setting up our next washes. And if you can hear snorting in the background or snoring, that is my English Bulldogs. So just ignore that. I can't get them out of here. And for all of our silver bits, we're going to be using a little Nolan oil. I guess it is fitting that I am painting maybe a British soldier-like miniature. And my English Bulldog in here does not want to get out. I guess that's fitting. Hmm. For our gloves, we're going to be using some Agrax Earthshade. We could use it on our feet and the handle if we would like, um, but it's such a smooth surface, you're just not going to notice it. There's no recesses really, it's just, it's mundane, it, it's, you're not going to notice it, so I'm skipping that portion. We're going to re-highlight our face, and the only color we're going to use is Cadian Flesh Tone. We want to hit the bridge of the nose, the cheekbones, above the eyelids, the chin, of course. Basically, the whole thing, we're just leaving a little bit in the recesses to kind of give it that contrast color, and we're building it up. It probably took me two, three layers in some spot to get that nice buildup again of Cadian Flesh Tone. Make sure you're thinning your paints. We don't want it right out of the pot. It'll make it look like crap, so... Just be very careful while you're doing that and build up those highlights and it'll look really good. Give it that nice, I guess, light, fair skin pigment. Now we're going to be doing those eyebrows. We just want to be very careful. We could have done this earlier in it. We probably should have. Um, to be honest, I freaking didn't even see it. I didn't realize it until I'm looking at the card and saying, oh crap, I totally missed that. So we're gonna do it now. A little right next side on those eyebrows to give it the two-tone colors. So just be very careful. And we're gonna do the whites of our eyes. I'm using white from Model Color, but you can use whatever you want. If you still wanna use Corax White, you can. This is just basically a pure white. You could use white scar if you also had that. And we're just hitting the eyeballs that you can see from the eyelids. So very careful, you use a small brush. I'm using a size 10 zero brush. Once that is done, I'm gonna take some Cyberite Green from Citadel and I'm making two little circles in that white. And that's gonna be our pupil. And then we're gonna put some black in here in a second, but just take your time, get a nice three point stance, curl your shoulders in and get that nice little dot in there. Once you have green circles that you like, get that Abaddon black and get that nice little black circle in the middle of that green. Again, I'm using a size 10 zero brush. Very just gentle. Don't over and try and smush it in. Just very kind of scrape the edge of that, of that eye. And to highlight the hair, we're going to use some uh, delicious Troll Slayer Orange. And it's going to make it look really bright and orangey. And that's exactly what we're looking for. We want it to look so orangey that it's like an orange. 
It's going to make it look fantastic. His hair is the focal point, in my opinion, of this miniature. Mixed with that Cadian flesh tone, that is what people are going to stare at, that face and that awesome hair. It's amazing. Let's uh, re-highlight those gloves, and we're going to use our Baylor Brown just again. And obviously, you don't want to get into the recesses that are underneath the teacup. You just want to get the nice glove that we have and brighten that up just a little bit. While we still got that black out, we're going to have Abaddon Black. We're just going to paint the edge of our base. And we're going to hit that Retributor Armor up again. I also forgot we're going to use the Grey Knight Steel to reapply to our silver bits. And for some reason, I didn't catch it on camera. So do those both right now. And that's it. You did it. And it looks pretty, pretty dang good. Not too bad for not that many steps. And it looks great. Your army looks fantastic. All right, I just want to say thank you for watching this video and subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing and uh, growing this channel. I mean, everybody that subscribes and watches it, it only makes me more motivated to make more videos more often. So I'm working on getting two videos out a week. It's gotten tough with uh, my normal job that actually pays the bills, but I'm working on it. So if you have any requests or want to see anything in the future, uh, leave a comment. All right, paint on.